to Kenya now, where two young men who dropped out of school have impressed many with their innovations. CGTN's Nick Mudimba caught up with the innovators working on the outskirts of the capital, Nairobi, and reports on their journey in the world of science. Just 20 kilometers from Nairobi city, you are welcomed by Moses Njoroge and David Gato in their compound. They stay here with their grandmother who gave them some space to work on the innovations. They call it the backyard. Here we find wooden gadgets they have made, a virus decontamination system machine, an upper limb prosthetic arm, and the list goes on. Surprisingly, the two dropped out of school in the early stages of education. Here they make everything from junk. I was born with this curiosity mind. And I thought instead of going on with this high school thing, let me start making the, what I want or the passion that I have inside. And uh, I started designing some gadgets, uh, doing some mathematics here and there. One of the key innovations is the virus disinfection machine. David explains scientifically how the gadget works. This decontamination system, this chamber on the left side, it's the one that uses high voltage to smash the oxygen particles. And whenever oxygen particles, they, they are heated by a high voltage, they produce a certain electromagnetic wave. The two men have used the science of neuroprosthetics to understand how human beings relate with machines. Whenever uh, I close my eyes or I deep think, I emit this band of frequencies ranging from 9 to 12 cycles per second, known as the alpha waves. Uh, these signals are tapped by this gadget. And they are amplified, they are filtered, then uh, converted to electronic current and then transmitted externally to control various electrical and uh, mechanical devices. The innovators insist the same principles can also be applied on a vehicle, represented by this model, a homemade toy car that they say can be controlled by signals from the brain. Their grandmother has been with them all these years and has been impressed by the progress. These innovations are purely a blessing. I also don't understand. He didn't get any of the ideas by going to school. It's just a blessing. He started repairing watches. Later on, he focused on phones. And now he makes so many things. And I don't understand what they make. When they make these things, they don't talk to anyone. But for Moses and David, their quest is to empower those able to innovate but who don't have adequate education. My dream, or our dream, is to have a facility where we be able to gather all the like-minded people in this field. Because most in organization, they don't give people who are maybe form for leavers and other people who are who are not uh, educational. Coming up with such innovation like this a prosthetic hand, of course, takes passion and so much time. But for them, they've been using zero budget just to come up with such a prototype, which I must tell you needs so much IQ and, of course, time to make sure you come up with such. Nick Mudimba, CGTN, Nairobi, Kenya.